welcome to the DNBR Avalanche Podcast presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Use code DNBR to sign up for a new account to get amazing odds boosts every single day. Bruno, Jesse, Blaze, and he's back on Woo! the show. Full the house. house man himself, Evan Raul. Avs <laughs> <laughs> yes. win over the Calgary Flames 2-1. to one. Uh, in a game that was a little all over the place. I think you got a little bit of everything tonight, including a really boring first period. Very boring. Jesse, you said you really liked the game, so you get the 60-second breakdown, yeah. bud. Yeah. No, so, uh, you know, I, I honestly, I thought this was a, a good... Uh, AJ used the... the we referred to the fact that it's a cliche, but, like, that was a good road game from the Avs uh, with a depleted lineup. To your point, uh, Rudo, the first period... Real slow, yeah. real kind of sloppy. Uh, not a lot of great chances going back and forth. Uh, I believe it was three straight power plays for Calgary in the first. Or I mean, it was, was it four because it was a five on three. Yeah, yeah, that was in the second though, right? Start or the the goals in the yeah, second. So it was two so in yeah. the first. And so, then no, those two, so no yeah. score after one. Kind of a slow, sloppy period. Teams look like they're feeling each other out. Abs playing kind of safe, letting Kemper get into a rhythm. Into the second period. Kind of the march to the penalty box continues for the Avs, eventually setting Calgary up on a five-on-three. Honestly, I thought it was a pretty good kill it right, was. A, right yeah. up until the goal, which is kind of a dumb thing to say. But uh, <laughs> at, when you're down five-on-three, I thought the Avs did a good job keeping stuff to the outside. Arturi Lekkinen made a really nice play that I'm sure we'll get to uh, at some point. Looked like they were going to get out of it, but the Flames do score. Put them up one nothing. The Avs cut off the rest of the power play. Uh the Avs on a power play of their own. Kale McCarr banks it off of Bound the Chushkin <laughs> uh, right in. And Darcy Kemper really, really settled in. Like he you did. could tell from that he moment did. on, wasn't going to give up much else. Third period, Miko Randon finds Val the Chushkin again. Backdoor, great tip in. Uh, and the Avs just kind of locked it down. Darcy Kemper was their best player the rest of the way. Was that. 60? That's right, it was. Uh, right that, on the nose. That was at I least was, like two that minutes. Like, yeah, yeah, times three. Nope. Definitely nope. not close that to 60 seconds. That was 60 seconds, seconds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no yeah. shot. No I'm shot. That what, what do you guys see? Seconds. Over or under 60? That was the whole game. I think we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was just trying to get us out of here. Fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah, here? Yeah, here? A minute and 12 seconds. Minute and 12. That's actually, wow, that's pretty good. It is over, but I'll give it to you. Still over. That, uh, no, you're great. You're great. It's still over 60, so you lost either well, someone way. Someone give me a clock then. <laughs> what does that mean that he just talked for a minute until we were just like, oh, my God. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, go. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh. We got the buzzer going. Uh, I think, obviously, first and foremost, you have to bring up with this game, and, and you did. Avs were awfully depleted. You're going through no McKinnon, no Landeskog. And they end, they end up winning, but also going toe-to-toe in Calgary with a team who is good, is great. Where are we putting Calgary, Calgary on the scale this year? Look, I, I, said, I said during that game, Jacob Markstrom is what makes me scared of that team, yeah. and that's about where the list stops. I mean, national media has them, you know. Canadian national media. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Above the avalanche, so... Okay. I, I think that's a good team. Yeah. Of the Western Conference teams, that probably scares me the most, but yeah. they're not going to have to worry about them till third round at the yeah. latest. Yeah. So, but that's a good team. I mean, that Sutter's gotten a lot out of yeah, more than what I would th- I mean, they've who would in what world would we have thought as the door of Gabranson pairing would work as well as that. <laughs> so, it's, they've gotten a lot out of I would say maybe a little. So, yeah, I think that's a good team. Yeah. Um there's really not any team in the West that really scares me all that yeah, much, agreed. to be honest. A- Do you think that they're playing above their kind of clip, though, right now? Yeah, I think what Sutter, Sutter's just got them playing his system, and yeah. that team is kind of built perfectly for it, essentially. So. Yeah. Okay. I men- mentioned it in the pregame. Again, this has a little bit of the same feels of the Flames from what it was 2018, where it's just everything has kind of gone right. They're getting career years out of a lot of guys. And again, credit to Sutter, to your point. He's implemented a system those guys are bought into. But again, six of their top seven guys haven't missed a game this year. Yeah, that's awesome, too. That's a, Health yeah, that's definitely exactly helps. That's what happened that, yeah. that yeah. one year. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, with, 
so are we giving the Ams a ton of credit here for yeah. playing a great game without Landy and McKinnon then? Or are we saying they got by? I, think I thought they played good. I thought they played good. Without I mean, the I guys think, that you were without, sorry, without the guys yeah, yeah. without on the road against a good team that's bought into a, a good system, you got Jacob March from tonight. I, I I don't know how you're anything less than thrilled if you're the Avs. Yeah, I mean, it looks like they're trying to feel out everything in the first period. I think that's why that first period was a little slow because you just didn't see that offensive push that they usually have in the first. But after, like, figuring everything out, then they started making it actually work for themselves. This song is throwing me off. This it, it is. It's a little... <laughs> the uh, mood's weird. It's been getting played pretty consistently <laughs> after Avs games at the bar, actually. None of us are on the press conference, but I bet Bednar's just ecstatic with how that game oh, went, I'm considering sure. who they're missing. You know, they didn't create much for two periods. Yeah. The third period, I thought they were the better team. And that's I agree with that. really yeah, all that sure. mattered. They, got their, they were close enough through two with the depleted lineup, and they got by with the power play. Essentially, it w- even a depleted power play. So, um, yeah, I mean, the Flames had, what, they had 40-plus shots, I think. I didn't look at 45, the and the Avs had 30. Um, and it didn't feel like a ton of them, especially in the first period, they had like 14, and it wasn't all that dangerous. So the Avs did just enough to keep them the outside. And that, that uh, top line from the Flames didn't really do a whole lot. They went offsides about 14 times. They didn't do a whole <laughs> they lot. They complained about being Crazy. offside a lot, too. <laughs> but, oh, look who's coming oh, in. AJ's got stuff to say. Oh, boy. He's hopping on hot. Yo. Yo. Uh, I just want to uh, just really, really quick just say that the Calgary Flames ate shit. <laughs> uh, and that if a team that has gotten every imaginable break along the way can't beat this version of the abs on a home ice. Uh, I don't ever want to see another tweet or another power ranking or another anything that talks about how scary the flames might be <laughs> in the postseason. Because at this point, I don't have any confidence that they're going to get through the Battle of Alberta. Um, I don't know that I like. I don't know that Ed, I have no confidence in Edmonton. I was going to say, yeah, but I. I I don't think any of the teams out west, outside of Colorado, are any good. I've given up on all of them. <laughs> okay. I think all of them, all of them are trash, and the only one that I have even the slightest modicum of respect for as competitive is Minnesota. <laughs> all right. And that, wow. that tells you how I feel about the west this year, because fuck Minnesota and everything in it. <laughs> That's all I wanted to say. Have fun. Bye, Love AJ. <laughs> Why don't we get Megan to call in, too? When she gets the yeah, what's game? Megan's doing? <laughs> <laughs> you want Megan to call in? <laughs> uh, okay. So, AJ says Calgary's a bitch. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Minnesota's the same thing as Calgary when you think about it. Just career years out of guys. Like, yeah, I, I agree with you on that, yeah. for sure. You wouldn't really expect. We talked about it during the yeah. show. That Minnesota Wild team has every last, like, telltale sign of a pretender career years out of like every guy in their top nine they add goaltending at at the at the deadline well and that's what makes them deadly i think during the playoffs i think they've got what 11 or 12 empty net goals this year it's it's some outrageous numbers it's six on five (laughs) seven and oh in overtime like in three on three overtime and shit and it's like uh, but but like they're they're hard to same thing with like Calgary like they're, they're hard to play against they play a good system and shit like that but like when you just start stepping back and looking at it, it's like everything about you says that this isn't for real well they're pretty one-dimensional too and they only have one line that really produces a lot of their points yeah. so it's like can you shut that down well, during the playoffs and they have shut it down tonight the Man. Calgary's only goal comes on a five on three Yes. Oh, I'm not talking. I was talking. Oh, I was talking about oh, the Wild. Oh, oh yeah, uh, There's bad. way more depth, than, yeah. I think, yeah. Yeah. on this Calgary, Calgary sure. team. Well, depth. we're getting us back to Calgary because that is who they played yeah, today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. By, is, this is where I was going anyway, so <laughs> it worked out. Calgary only scores on the five on three. We kind of already talked about, obviously, Kemper played great. You make 44 saves. That's always an insane night from a goaltender. But I want to talk about the team defense, too. Because, yes, there was certainly some interesting puck management going on during the game, but I think you pretty consistently saw one, the abs fully engaged on the back check. How many three on twos ended up not even being odd man rushes for Calgary in this game because the abs sent it back down into their own zone. And two, 
the consistent ability to limit the quality of Calgary's opportunities. So, I, I, again, remember this is without Sam Gerrard. This is without Bowen Byram. Without Gabe Landeskog, who's arguably your second best defensive forward. Are you happy with the defense tonight? Or are you looking at 45 shots and going, that's too many? Uh, I think they're completely fine with it because I bet they have their own statistics that show that it was a lot from the outside, which is what it looked like to me. Okay. Um, and from what I saw, Kemper could see a lot of things. For sure. Which yeah. is... When you got you the know, Johnson and Johnson pairing playing top four minutes, like, you got to live with your lumps. It's, uh, I mean, you're you're basically right from the shooting percentage out there. Yeah, not Just a ton. On the heat map, yeah. Not a ton in home plate. Yeah. yeah. At five on five. I mean, so. I think there's just, you know, a lack of depth. I I don't think the Johnsons should be playing that much. No, and I, I said that in between periods that I think the Avs miss Gerard and Byram more yeah. than they miss maybe a couple forwards right now. Just because sure. ta- a lot is on Taves and McCarr right now, a lot. So when Taves went down at the end of the game, it was kind of like, oh, crap. Yeah. <laughs> That's one guy they cannot lose. Yeah. So, um, and then if we talked about in the first period, the Avs would get a rush and they'd be dropping it to Jack Johnson. Yeah. yeah. And it's and like, this like, is okay. a little bit different than, you know, what you really want. So yeah. I think those guys are definitely missed. But considering what they have, you know, I mentioned it, I thought that was Josh Manson's best game as yep. on the team. Yeah. I, I mean, I think Manson's play has steadily been going like this. Yeah. He's still so getting like, some reads wrong, like we saw. And then you also saw Bednar kind of talking to him about, like, well, what he wants to see, which is good. It's. It's got to be so hard coming from Anaheim to yeah. this, where standards are different, what they're expected and Just of. the pace of play you're stepping yeah, into is so, so... You know, he's got, what, 15 games to yep. kind of yep. acclimate himself. And I think I re- he he's playing with, what, Jack Johnson right now? He He's going to look a lot better with Gerard, yeah. who can kind of <laughs> oh, handle yeah. a lot there of the puck go. movement. Yeah. True enough. Um, <laughs> did we... Are we happy with all the defenders tonight? I mean, again, like, I, I just, yeah. Like, you're asking every, almost everyone right. but Miko with, Ray. With to, the to, understanding yeah. that the so, Johnsons so, are above well, their no, head no, here. But, but, I'm, but I'm not even just saying that. But, like, you're asking almost this entire lineup to play up a, a rung from where they will be. So, on nights like this, to the point that you made earlier, Evan, like, they have numbers that they look at they understand hey we're asking guys to play a little over their heads we're expecting them to get the, you know caved in a little bit but we're hoping to keep it between this and this given the context of everything about this game you're on the road it's another team you know i, I heard them uh talking about i think it was uh to foley who Scored they inter- the goal. Well, no, no, who they interviewed before or he was doing inter- uh, availability know. this morning know, yeah and he was saying, well, we're really excited for this game because they're the best team in the league. The last time we played them, it was the second of a back-to-back, so we were tired. We had traveled. Yeah. We're going to bring our best game tonight. So you had a team that was fired up who is having all the injury you know, luck. They're, they're using up Colorado and Vegas' injury luck. Calgary's getting all of it. Yep. They're at home. They're rested. You know, they, they wanted to put on a good showing. The fact that you came in with this lineup, I, I, I really can't point to anybody – and be overly disappointed with how they played tonight. And, and I, again, I was, I was going to go jump into availability, but I couldn't find a link for it. Uh, but I, I agree with you, Evan. Like, I, I bet you Jared Bednar is going to have a hard time finding bad things to say about this effort tonight. All right. Uh, zero goals scored at even strength in this game. Uh, that sounds like you might need a Breck brew to, to <laughs> comprehend that. So. Go get yourself a Breckenridge Brewery beer, whether it be the Avalanche, of course, or any of their other amazing flavors. All very, very good. You get eight of them on tap down here at the bar. Uh, or go to your local liquor store. There will be flavors there. They're in all of the lower 48. Um, I still don't think they're in Canada, unfortunately. But you can you can come down across the border, get some. You'll, you'll be fine. Or just ask AJ to smuggle you some in. Whatever works for you. Uh, uh, either way. Go get some Breck Brew, and then go on over to DraftKings Sportsbook. Use code DNVR when you sign up for a new account to get amazing odds boosts every single day. But also, with March Madness still going on, 
You can bet on any March Madness team left. If they win their next game, we bet $5. You get $200 in free bets when you use that DNVR code as a new customer. So get $200 in free bets and then go bet everything on Blaze's bets or Jesse's uh, weekend betting piece. Blaze hits two for three again tonight, yep. and they're, they were both like big plus money. Yep. So good night. Easy money. Easy, easy money when it comes to the Avs right and now. Uh, and, of course, when you make a little bit of money off DraftKings, go buy yourself a party bus ticket. This is the last week you can get in on the party bus tickets. Uh, $140, I believe, is the price yep. for a ride from on the bus from the bar to the game. You get a ticket in Section 120 in the lower bowl. The whole section of us DNVR taking over. It's going to be dope. Then you get a bus ride back to the bar, so you can park here at the bar. Or you can get as drunk as you want because, you know, you're on the bus everywhere you're going. It's going to be a dope time. We're going to have a booth to hang out at in Ball Arena at the intermissions. It's going to be a bunch of awesome stuff. It's going to be a great time. You can go get your tickets now at the DNVR Locker. It's just dnvrlocker.com. Uh, and they're not on sale yet, but they should be coming very, very soon. If you already have tickets to the game, we will be selling bus-only tickets so you can get on the bus and, and come ride along with us, even if you're you're sitting in your usual seats in whatever section you're in. I just so. bought one for my wife. There you go. So one less ticket available for the people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll get there. Wow. Appreciate it. Wow. What was that? Sometimes. Look, every even, even great ones mess up sometimes, okay? <laughs> uh, for DraftKings, you must be 21 or older, Colorado <laughs> only. Other terms, restrictions, <laughs> and conditions apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Of course, if you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-522-4700. For the party bus, you do not have to be over 21. <laughs> you can come, no matter what age you are, yeah. to have a great time with the DNVR crew at the game. So go do that. The party bus, of course, brought to you by Avaca TV. They're awesome. You can watch your abs games at home when you're not going to the games with them. I've taken over the jukebox, by the way. <laughs> uh, the comment has already gone, but I was going to say, was talking about Cogliano. I'll say it. I've really liked Cogliano since he got here. Yeah, he, he is exactly his build, I think. He's, he's oh, right there, Casey. Casey Hill. Oh, and that one. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Casey Hill down at the bottom. Yep, there it is. Boom. Uh, I think, again, he's just – he's been – exactly what you want in that role he's just just solid makes good decisions i've liked him on the kill um so far he looks worth way more than a fifth round pick <laughs> i yeah i meaning I, that fifth a round, fifth picks round are pick is worth nothing right, yeah. Yeah. Right, right, like, right, yeah. if, uh, He's worth like, at least a fourth. <laughs> it's like in two years, too. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. A 2024 fifth at that. Uh, do we have the graphic for Val's first goal ready? Uh, you mean this one? I mean that one, yeah. Oh, no, this is the goal tracker now. This yeah. spans years. Though. This does cover a couple of years, but he added the backup stick to the... Uh, Congratulations. To the, to the <laughs> list of ways I, I Val was, has scored tonight. I was wondering how you were going to add that one to the... To the <laughs> yeah, I mean, freezers, hockey pants, if you don't know the correct term, I guess. It's, it's, I've always called it hockey pants. You Minnesotans are Evan. weird. I just call them pants. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, Evan's Every, wrong. Everybody's wrong. <laughs> Anyways. Did you say you just call them pants? Yeah, yeah that's I mean, what I, I've that's been, what I call them, pants. Yeah, mine uh, barely stay on anymore. I'm too cheap to buy new ones. So. <laughs> I'm looking for one syllable here. All right, pants. Yeah, that's, that's too much work. Yeah, breezers. Yeah. I don't have time for. It's bre hard. I don't have time for breezers or. <laughs> I didn't say it's hard. Pants. I said it's just too much. Oh, it's too much. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> can't wait to fill this thing up. I mean. Did he has he scored one off of his chest yet? He definitely feels, has somewhere along the way. It feels yeah. like he should have. Yeah, you got to add gold chain on there. We should add that on there. there. You Actually, go. I'm going to add chain. that on there. Off the chain. I'm going to open that file right now so we can add the gold chain. <laughs> <laughs> Someone in chat calls them butt pads. Sure. <laughs> 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 Hilarious part being like your butt is where the least amount of pads yeah. is. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thick. Either way, I mean. Thick cloth. For. Through the first couple of games without Landy, it did feel like. 
look, Val was bringing a lot of good things to that <laughs> top line, but he wasn't finishing. I understand both of his goals come on the power play tonight, but he did his best landing impression in front. He gets a tip-in goal. He gets a redirect goal. It it felt like, well, I mean, obviously it was exactly what the Avs needed as they ended up winning 2-1. Is this something that you consider keeping together when Landy comes back? Because we saw Bednar start to experiment with Landy on the second line and stuff like that already. Um. I would. I prefer him on the first line to Burkowski. Personally, I don't. I've never liked Berkey up there. Okay. But the issue is that when when Bedner puts Landy down, he does that to make a big line with Nuke, yeah, Kadri and Landy. Sure. Yeah. Putting Burkowski on that line doesn't really do anything there, unless they want to put Lekin in there and then put Burkowski with Newhook, which I guess they could do, but I don't think they would do. So, yeah. I mean, it it makes more sense than. Berkey, but I don't think it's something that they're gonna keep. Three-headed right monsters, the yeah. expectation. I yeah. think it's just. I think it's just another look. Again, that's something Bednar has talked about over the last several weeks. Is we want different looks. We're gonna get into different matchups where we're gonna need different things out of out of different guys. And I, to me, it's just cool. There, there's just another another combination that you've got. Yeah, it's weird, to, Bednar, to say that. Yeah, <laughs> what? He usually keeps the lines is so consistent. Yeah, right? I know. Right? Yeah. We haven't seen any variation. Yeah. Um. All right. So Val Nachushkin is our king of the game. I know you all are going to be mad and say Darcy Kemper played so well and he deserves it, and you're probably right. But we've given Kemper some pretty cheap ones so far this season. So why not give one to Val? He's earned it. I mean, the only way that you could say that he doesn't deserve it is like. If he doesn't score those two goals, it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Can't win the game. <laughs> Literally, they score none without Val Nachushkin. Yep. So he gets the king of the game. We're going to do our winner shots for that. Yeah, you guys uh, are. Jaeger. Us you guys. guys I don't know that. what this is. I asked but for Jaeger. It's not but Jaeger. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, last time you guys said it was Jaeger. It was <laughs> Jaeger's better. Agreed. Definitely prefer Jaeger. Um, said no one. Jesus. <laughs> Maybe high schoolers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is and all hockey players. <laughs> I, I, so is the way it's the official shot of the NHL. The Avs won this game. <laughs> par for the course for the next couple weeks without the big guns. Rely on special teams. Survive five on five. You're playing teams and goaltending again. Like goaltending too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No kidding. I, I we didn't give Kemper king of the game, but I do just want to. Pa- he was. Fantastic! Absolutely, yeah. not taking oh, anything unreal. away from Darcy. Yeah, I mean, dialed in. You could tell he was tracking pucks well. Uh, really liked his game, so good, good call out. But I, I think against teams like this, yes. But like we were talking, we were making yep. a joke about you got San Jose <laughs> coming to town, and anything can happen. <laughs> but like that's a team that even <laughs> this version of the Avs should still like. You should still just flat out beat the Sharks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Maybe they'll get home and McKinnon's got the Mighty Ducks things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's all I woke b- up this morning. All healed. Totally healed. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> you never know. Well, I mean, there was some of that action going on with Avs players in the third period yeah. of yeah, uh, dude, no, some magic healing. but We all, we were all like, and Nico Sturm's season yep, is he's over. He's done. Yep. Yep. Broken arms. See ya, bud. And then it comes back from and he's commercial. Like yeah, he's, and he's like, I'm good. Uh, all right, fuck. Kind I mean, of weird and random. If we are talking about guys that could return Thursday, I mean, Byram? Is there a chance? You never know. He did travel. I'm not. I mean, I don't know how close he really is. Not going to speculate I mean, on that. I, we don't but, really know until he says I'm good. Right. But it seems like he's getting close. Evan comes on the show and is just dropping bombs. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's hopes are up here. <laughs> hey, everyone, Evan just confirmed that Byron will be back. <laughs> you heard it here <laughs> first. <laughs> Independent sources, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. What, what were you told on Twitter? Yeah, hope, yeah. hope is hope is, you can't yeah, rely yeah. on hope. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hope isn't a game plan, guys. Yeah. <laughs> but Apparently. It, genuinely, it. <laughs> I know it doesn't mean 
a ton right now during the season. Any games, win or loss, but <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's, that's perfect. Uh, but the Avs get to 100 points. So the first team in the league to get to 100 points with the win tonight. They win against a good team without their stars. I don't want to call it a statement win, but is there a little bit of extra juice behind this one at least? I, I mean, I would say so because that's the only team somewhat close to you in the conference. Okay. So, 12 point lead on them now. Yeah. Well, that, and again, like, this is a team. Uh, one of their guy, one of the uh, Flames who spoke after the game was asked, you know, do you see this as a potential matchup in the playoffs? And he was like, well, at that point, we're both in the conference finals. So that'd be pretty exciting. And he called out. We want revenge for a couple of years ago. They want revenge for a couple of years ago. They want revenge for two weeks ago. And and they keep losing. Right, right. <laughs> so, you know, I, I do think there is a little bit of like a... There's gamesmanship to all this stuff, right? Like, you know the Avs feel pretty good that, hey, we're down five <laughs> top players. And, yeah, we beat you again. Like, it's got to feel good. Yep, definitely. You know, Especially, this is the first game in Calgary this year, right? Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. And again, like they got Markstrom for the first time tonight. Yep. So there's not even that excuse. Like, there, there's there's no reason on paper Calgary shouldn't have won this game. For sure. He was pissy. Markstrom. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was. He was getting he a little hacky out there. For no there. reason. Yeah. And then Gabranson shoves really? Ranton in, in the crossbar, and he ha- shoves him. It's like, what are you doing? Did you he's, guys see Mike Smith? Uh, well, he's always pissy. I, I, think, <laughs> I, think, I think it was Matthew Kachuk, but like even still. He punt. He blocker punched him in the face mm. when he was on the ice. I don't I, care who it is. If you're a goalie, like right, those they get away are with heavy. yeah. They get away I've with so much stuff. Those, those things are heavy. Yeah. That's something where I can get on board with what you're saying. A blocker punch, like yeah, that, I don't know why that's that not should a be penalty. huge penalty. Yeah. That, like that's, for sure. that's just as much of like a, a weapon as your stick. Oh, agreed. The, the bottom of it that's about this wide yeah. going yeah, in your dude, face. One, and they're like, they and come his head to a was little bit of a point. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. like, it could have been really bad. Yeah. Even, I mean, it's good, Chuck. I know nobody likes him, but you uh, guys, I like him. We can have this conversation <laughs> really now like since we're going to have it at some but point. Still a line. The, elbow, yeah. the elbow on Taves was not dirty by any stretch of the imagination. That was 100% hey, incidental contact. I didn't even see it. I was tweeting something it, really <laughs> witty out. <laughs> <laughs> the two guys aren't even looking at each other, and yeah. the elbow just comes up and catches him. It, it's not a dirty play. I. Yeah. We can have the argument on whether we think it's a penalty or not. I don't really have a problem with it either way. What I did have a problem with is wasn't the whole point of the Calvert thing a couple years ago that when a dude gets hit in the face and is lying on the ice, you blow the whistle? Yeah. Yes. I don't remember what the rules are now. It's. I thought it was you had to have possession, yeah. right? Yeah. You, I, 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 your team has to have no, possession. No, no. I know. <laughs> Calvert's thing changed that. No, I don't think so. To where you don't so. need possession anymore. I don't okay. think so. I'm pretty sure Calvert's situation changed no, that. No, because where because why wouldn't if your if your team's hemmed in late, why wouldn't you just block a shot and stay down? Because it, first of all, it's head contact only. Yeah, I was just said the Calvert thing's a little different because I think he caught a puck he up did, high. But they, the head is the head here. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> that that one kind of happens so fast. I don't. I just don't know if you can. Is is that the is the ruling? Is it has to be the puck that hits him in the head? Is that what the what I'm missing here? I didn't even know they changed the rule for that. They did for the I Calvert. Thing. About I, I don't know remember. if they changed it, but they like clarified it. Yeah, there's something that happened in the last two years that kind of blurred up everyone's minds. So I don't really remember <laughs> what uh, what that was what about. about? <laughs> Yo, there's somebody wearing the jersey in the crowd. Uh, Yo, <laughs> we watched Contagion this week. It's on oh, Netflix Lord. now. The, Have you guys uh, watched it? Is that the mini series? No, it was it was it was like a movie from I think it was like 2010 or 11. That was like about a virus that came from a bat and a pig. That oh, like I don't know then. <laughs> got out and, and started killing people all over the place and using phrases like social distancing and like the whole movie's about like a race to get a vaccine and I was like I can I don't know if I can watch this. I don't know if I want to re <laughs> relitigate all this shit. Didn't age well. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> dude, serious. And everyone's all pissed at the C D C and I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Is this a movie or a documentary? In in any case, I didn't really have a huge problem with the elbow. It was incidental. Obviously sucks for Taves. He clearly, you know, either I couldn't tell if it was his nose or his mouth that he was bleeding pretty bad from. Yeah. But 
took a shot. He'll be fine. I won't lie. You made a good argument with the incidental like contact yeah. on high sticks. So I had to think about it for a bit. <laughs> but ultimately, I see that elbow as like a follow through high stick. You're going to make a play on the puck. You don't even know the guy's behind you. He's going for a tip. I don't think that's a penalty. Personally, if you wanted to call one there, I think that'd be a that'd be a pretty tough sell if you're a ref. And, uh, yeah, I again, I don't want to nitpick the calling the penalty no, there. No, we're gonna or not. nitpick. And, if we're nitpicking calling penalties, we're nitpicking the nuke gets tripped, <laughs> yeah, yeah. doesn't get called, and then Kadri trips a guy and it gets called. Which, like, I, and I think a lot of the stuff people are upset with tonight is weird. Because I have no problem with all of the penalties that got called on the abs tonight. Some of them you could say were a little bit soft, but you're saying, okay, those are penalties. Is what it is. Don't think you need to really go too deep into that one. Did Calgary get away with some stuff? Yeah. Did the abs get away with some stuff? Yeah. It, it felt inconsistent, but nothing to write home about, to be honest. Did it? So, and I'm genuinely asking... Did it feel inconsistent in terms of what was being called or just the fact that they were kind of calling some soft stuff but then letting other things... Because I feel like, honestly, no team got away with stuff the other one didn't. Does that all make sense? That, that may have Outside of the sense. nuke to nuke to Kadri <laughs> yeah, thing, yes. I agree yeah, yeah, with yeah. you. Yeah, It got lopsided and then it evened out. Yeah. And then right. there was penalties yeah. at the end. Yeah. But. So, like, consistently inconsistent. That sums up refing <laughs> as a whole, I think. So I hate talking about refing so much. <laughs> Dude, I, I hate it too. And it sucks that we've had to do it so much this year because it's been so catastrophically bad. As much as I hate talking about refing, I also hate the people that are like, well, don't leave it up to a power play at the end of the game. It's like, listen, <laughs> shitty calls like do exist. That is a thing. <laughs> but... Yeah, I, for the most part, I'm with you. I'm just I, like, I mean, the, the five on three calls. I thought Nuke got a stick in there. Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly yeah. what they're looking for. And then yeah, Anderson goes down. You know, with Makar. I mean, you probably want to see slashing called more if you're slashing on the hands. And I don't know why he's slashing Zadorov on the hands there. <laughs> but I mean, that's it. Felt if soft. We're, if we're talking sure. about what a penalty is, then you know that stuff you typically do on call it's just obviously it always comes down to consistency yep yeah. correct okay. no well at the end of the show just wait no that's just the the one bit i already know from him uh, a great clip great clip. It is. that was just going to end the show basically we can end the show <laughs> yeah. with that for sure uh the yahoo gave it away i know we are brought to you we are I mean, brought to you right by here. Avoca can we play this TV. At the end of the show. It's in writing and right Blaze here. Is requesting <laughs> me to play this immediately. That won't stop me because I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are brought to you by Avoca TV. You can watch Altitude right there, right on your television. You don't have to jump through all the hoops of piracy or it's a lot cheaper than direct tv if that's the option you're with uh it just comes with a little box you have to have an internet connection you hook it up 25 bucks a month bam right there you're hooked up good to go watching just like the good old days where you don't have to do all this nonsense highly recommend you check out avoca tv they will also have at&t sports network so if you're a rockies fan they got you covered too it's a great time to get in on it jump in there watch the rest of the av season uh before the playoffs should be fun Check out Avaca TV again. They're our sponsor for the party bus too, so go show them some love if you're if you're jumping on the party bus. And last but certainly not least, we are brought to you by Lightshade. Go get your weed. Uh, who was it? You two that ran into each other at Lightshade a while back? Dude, I don't Kale. Do it was you and Kale. Yeah, That's who Kale, it was. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for putting that on blast. <laughs> <laughs> was it you who was? Buying weed? That's not. Yep. I feel like that's not putting you on blast. Well, I don't know. People just, <laughs> just that's what people do now is you go and buy weed. Does drugs no, it doesn't. <laughs> Everyone's fired. <laughs> uh, bro, I, I, I worked this job once and someone came up and was like, do you think they'll drug test? It's like, if they drug test anyone, they're screwed. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Every single that was person they, they at are this screwed. company That was the running fail. joke yeah. at a company I worked at. The CEO would, you know, they'd be like, well, should we fire production? It was like. 
or should we start drug testing? He's like, I would lose everybody in production. Yeah, 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 <laughs> and like yeah. every time they asked, it was just a different department that he'd be saying. <laughs> you can also check out the wanna sleep aids over at Lightshade. They really help with getting to sleep fast and easy. So if you're a person like me who really struggles with the falling asleep part, once I'm asleep, I'm good to go. But it takes me a really long time to fall asleep. You can just take one of these 15 minutes before bed. You'll be good passing out. It's the right... I don't know the actual ratio because I'm not a smart human. I, they just say, take this and you'll fall asleep. And I say, great. But it's CB, it's CBD and THC. I don't know the exact mix. It's one-to-one. The, one. Is it one-to-one? One? Probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he says with absolute certainty. I'm like the doctors on Twitter today. So. Now, that thing's one-to-one. One. I'm, yeah, one one. I'm excited to try that shit. See? That's, that's no, they're not. not what Rudo There's was There's a bunch of different about, ones, but, yeah. but yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Check out Wana, check out Lightshade, go over there, use code DNVR to get 25% off your purchase. Third period of the DNVR Avalanche podcast presented by DraftKings Sportsbook. Uh, a couple more things I want to talk huh. about. Whoa. But. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. <laughs> he does not look like that stereotypical yeah, weed smoker. Say. I don't <laughs> I'm just going to stare just prolonged eye contact just leave it on me just the whole time I think it's the uh, let's get to our super chats <laughs> before we get to I our last like, couple topics <laughs> yeah yeah Two dollars from Pin King, worst ref game in a long time yeah, I don't know I wouldn't go there I don't think it was good refing. I don't think it was that bad there's never going to be a game that either side yeah is not feels happy good with. about I mean, the it's just you're watching the game they're watching the game they call the most blatant penalties, but if they were calling every single thing, yeah. the games would be I, another 45 dude, minutes if long. You, if you that game already the, took like three hours. Seriously. <laughs> if I, you called the rule book, hockey would be unwatchable. I, again, yeah. like there are some missed calls here and there. Like there was a hold on Kale at one point that they didn't call, and I was like, ah, they should have called that. But the only real problem with the game was the nuke trip that goes uncalled followed by the cadre trip that gets called do you guys it's the you, only thing do you think both teams would be happy if that entire game went with no penalties called on either team no <laughs> do you think do you think everyone would say like yeah i'm happy with that if they didn't call it they didn't call it no I just, i'm just wondering I, I mean i don't think anyone would ever be happy Here's no matter what so, it'll completely change like, the scenario we're talking about in. i mean i just think because then there would just be more like the refs need to be engaged in this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are they doing? Well, one hundred percent, the refs can't win. Yeah. And this is again the conversation we've had a hundred times now. Bring out the refs for two minutes after the <laughs> game and ask the ref, "Hey, why didn't you call that nuke trip?" Yeah. But then you called the Kadri one, and he'll give you an answer, and that'll be that, and you'll be done. That uh, comment from Joseph is so funny, and it's so true. Going to dispensaries and just. Seeing all the different people that are in there <laughs> cracks my ass uh, up. Five dollars from Carson. Kemperer is emperor of the game. There you go. Val can be king. Kemperer can be emperor. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Five dollars from Josh. Good game from the boys. Big Z laying on players like me after a long night at the DNVR bar. He did take a couple of naps with guys down on the ice. In this he has game never sure. done anything wrong in his entire <laughs> life. Okay. <laughs> of course, this would be Evan's take. <laughs> Why do you think I came? <laughs> uh, $5 from the Schick. First of all, Lekanen for sure. Oh, Lekanen for sure. Yeah, definitely better than our turret. Agreed. Uh, also, anyone else ready to change Darcy's name to Ed? Because he's been killing these guys. I don't, I don't. I <laughs> don't. I'm trying to put yeah, that one I together. Yeah. Oh, Ed the killer. The what's it called? Um, Ed. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ed the fuck. You guys know Ed. You know Ed Bundy. <laughs> 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 Ed no, what? I have no idea who Ed Kemper is. He's a killer. He's a serial killer. Oh, okay. So. Wait. How long ago? What? From 1972 to 1973. Okay, that's that's of, like barely even in Blaze's <laughs> time. <laughs> I wasn't even alive back then. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Close, but... I never heard of that oh, yeah, guy. So, well, he's 0 for 4 on this panel, so... I'm looking it up right now, well, This too. was one of the topics I wanted to talk about, though. Lekkonen's first game with the Avs. How do we feel? Uh, I didn't notice him a ton. The t I think two times, maybe three, I did notice him. It was doing really good things, but other than that, we all had to 
double check to make sure he was like getting regular yeah, shifts. It but. wasn't until the five on three that you really saw him. He didn't play much in the first two periods, and then <laughs> third period he looked really good. Some good on the four check. He had that rush to the net. Um, but yeah, I mean, it sounded like Bednar's really happy. I think he's gonna yeah. be a player. He really, <laughs> yeah. really. He, the fact that he was already on the five on three. Yeah. In his first game, kind of tells you a little bit of how they feel about him. Yeah. For sure. Makes Once everything nice moves around. down, when people start coming back to and the matchups yeah. that he's yeah. going to be seeing, you get back into comfortable roles yeah. a little bit for sure. Okay, uh, two dollars from vaguely sober. Nukes Dong is the official king of the game. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I have no no rebuttal to that. Yeah, nobody uh, likes. Five dollars from Casey. Worst officiated game of the entire year. Way to fight Phil, through. Is this said after every game? Boys. <laughs> no, <laughs> but I, I mean, I again, I didn't really have a problem I with it, but it I, I guess other people definitely did have a problem with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. There were some calls that I guess you don't like, but I didn't think it was that. I, I feel like we've definitely seen worse games this year. Oh yeah. I mean, sure. I think the one thing you could say that was a blatant trip that was not called that everyone was looking at. It's not like the rest were looking at that. So right. It, one one play and a bunch of non calls on both sides does not make a poorly ref game. Thanks, uh, so, Casey. Preach. Ten dollars from Odd SC. Uh, is that Scott Bale? <laughs> <laughs> Who? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. What? what are you talking about? He's talking I mean, about which, you. Is he talking about me? <laughs> yeah. That is the worst comparison no, considering he's, what he's, has happened to that He's throwing man's back life. to that one time when we looked at those movies oh. and you were like, oh my is that God. Scott Bale? Uh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, yeah. Is what this, was that? That was like some Canadian it was the boy, stay at home movie. Yeah, it's or a Canadian like, like after school special called The Boy Who Drank Too Much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that, is that a was throwback. the second reference out of these super chats that I was like, don't get it. Okay. Yes, that, don't get it. That is a throwback. Deep cuts. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good episode. That was a fun episode. It was, it was. Did anyone ever watch that movie? I, I, <laughs> that movie's not real. You can't convince me. I mean, what era is this movie? It was from? an 80s movie. For, yeah. It was before Charles and Charge. TV, I'm pretty TV sure. movie? It had to have been. I don't know. Somebody, did you find them or what happened? Yeah, I, I just went on to IMDb <laughs> and searched like hockey movies, uh, and that came up. <laughs> Uh, I thought you were saying I look like Scott, but I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Five dollars from our Moisters. Lex looks good on the four check. Manson's best game IML, but hell yeah, DK stealing one. Good road win, short handed. Yep. Hell yeah. I think I that agree. sums it up pretty well. Yeah, I liked Manson tonight as well. I yeah, thought, I thought yeah, he made some good plays. <clears throat> Evan pointed out that yeah, he's had a couple kind of weird steps at his own blue line, and you almost have to wonder that that's a product of. Yeah. Anaheim that's that's some ducks muscle memory for uh, sure. <laughs> but for the most part, uh, yeah, I liked him. That was the end of that sentence. I said, yeah. Oh. Like <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, $7 from Carrie. Hey, I have missed all. I've found out I have stage four colon cancer. I need oh all gosh. of your prayers and an awesome uh, game uh, for the new guy. Look good. And uh, 35 was awesome. Yeah. I couldn't. Uh, that Absolutely sucks, smokes. man. Like, Definitely sending good vibes your way. For sure. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Hopefully it gets Keep better, fighting. man. Yeah. Anything we can do. Yeah. Please. For sure. That's uh, with you. Take your. You don't need to be giving us money. Right? Yeah. Go take care of your shit for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. So, hockey game. It was one. Stars won. <laughs> Vegas back on the outside looking in. Ha ha. Jeez. <laughs> the, dude, that team's so going to miss the playoffs, I swear. Don't they have, like, way more games played than everyone else, yep. too? Yeah, yeah so like, now, Stars are four games behind them, right? So now, so as of right this moment, Dallas is one point ahead with three games in hand. Yeah. The, the, it, it just, they, they, they slipped for too long. Now they have to rely on other teams fucking up for them to get in, like, they, are they down to their third string goalie right now too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. They were down to their fourth yeah, string for a minute there, but healthy. oh well. Uh, I think anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so, look at this point. The big picture of the West is more about finding out who the Evs are going to play 
as the eighth seed in the West than anything else. So it is what it is. We'll probably talk about this more tomorrow on our show as we as we dig in a little bit more on that stuff. But wins like this one always feel good, of course, when you're shorthanded. It's nice to see the abs get to the milestone of 100 points already. Realistically, they've they haven't mathematically clinched anything yet, but they're going to win the West. There's the, the ninth team in the last 45 years to reach the 100 point mark in 67 games or fewer. Ninth. Wow. Not a lot of teams there. Yeah, I was going to say, man. It's a very specific stat. Too. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was like the – I remember there was that one year John Michael Lyles had some point streak to start the season. <laughs> yeah. And, like, it had dwindled down so much by, like, the ninth and tenth mm-hmm. game. That, like, he got an assist and he came over the PA and they were like, John Michael Lyles is the first – defenseman in 10 years with the avalanche <laughs> to record an assist in X amount of home games to start a season in the month of October. I was like, okay, <laughs> come on. Like, just let that one go by and, you know, send it out in a PR release. Like, I don't know if you need to do an in arena announcement for that. Tuesdays in March. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not counting seasons that started late as the 10 games bled yeah. over into November, yeah. but <laughs> Later than October fifth, <laughs> to get an assist in every in, other in game in exactly the time frame where only he applies. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and each of the assists came after the forty-minute mark of the game. It's like, <laughs> fuck you. Oh, oh, we boy. have the updated new graphic. Yes, with yes. the gold, gold chain. chain. Amazing. Yeah, Love it. Absolutely adorable. Uh, okay, I, I think we're pretty much good. Uh, any other final thoughts y'all want to add? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. We'll get to that in a sec. <laughs> final thoughts? No? No? Uh, no? Really no? Good. Just, uh, I'm good. Thoughts out to carry again. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure, yeah, man. That's Definitely that's sucks to hear stuff like fighting. that. Uh, Got everyone behind you. Everyone in yeah. your corner here. Yep. Uh, okay. Play us out, Daryl Sutter. I wonder who <laughs> it's going to be. Oh, we know. <laughs> <laughs> You start the year, there's 164 points. Right? So then you go work back off that. And, and you still got you know, like plus Edmonton and Las Vegas are still the best teams. Like on paper, you guys said it. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>